Hello everyone, welcome to the semi-finals of the Julius Bear Generation Cup 2022. And one of the highlights of this round is Arjun Eric Geis' win over Le Kongem. This young phenom from India continues to rise. There's no stopping from this guy. I think in one of these days, this guy will be one of the elite. Yeah. He's already 2-7 something in the classical portion. So watch out for this guy. He, he won Abu Dhabi Open about two, three weeks ago. And this time he's in the finals. He's going to play Magnus Carlsen. All right, let's check out how he defeated Lekwang Liam. Okay, a strong GM from Vietnam. Okay, it started with D4. C4, Bishop D7, Knight of 3, D6, G3. Okay. King's Indian. Bishop G2, Castles, Castles, Knight B D7, Knight C3, A5, H3, Rook E8, for E5, perfectly normal. H6, Bishop E3, takes, takes. Knight C5, Queen C2, protecting. E4, C6, Rook AD1. Here, Black play Queen C7. All right, if you go Queen E7 here, let's say for example Queen Queen E7, like White can play B3. And if let's say you want to take this pawn, you take this pawn. There's Bishop C1 here, and you lose a piece. B5, and then you have takes B5. There's also knight takes d5. Yeah, knight takes d5, for example, rook takes d4. Now, with queen c7, uh, I I think Le Kong Lim has to play here bishop d7 first here. But with queen c7, there's a typical knight cb5. Yeah, the guy see Arjun went for knight b3, but the best way here was knight db5. Okay. Now, this reminds me of my game against Kashlinskaya back in 2014 in Vietnam. Let's take a look at that game. I, I was wide. I, I started with 9 3, though. Okay, g3, h3. Okay, the only difference is that my pawn is on c2, not on c4. It was a robot. Okay, it was the perk. Okay, f3 and then f4. All right, then I had that chance to go for knight b. It's typical. Takes and takes. The bishop on f2 attacks c5. All right. So going back to Arjun's game with the bishop on e3. Now he can play knight db5 straight away here because if takes, again, knight takes b5. If the queen goes to b6, for example, queen's trap takes b6. If the queen goes to e7, there's knight takes b6. Now the knight attacks e8, bishop attacks c5. You cannot also protect the knight, for example, with the b6, it's not e5. There's too many threats. Bishop on a8, knight on e8. So queen c7 was wrong. This is already winning for white. This is a typical sacrifice of b5. Huh? I had this game eight years ago. But Arjun went for knight b3, although he, he played that move knight b5 after f4, but this is not, this is different. It could happen because now the queen has the a5 square. Compared it to earlier, the queen cannot move to a5 because of that pawn. There's no space for the queen. All right, queen b8 also runs into knight d 6 So it was a bit late for Arjun playing f4, a5. Now 9b5, probably he realized, oh, I had 9b5 earlier, but not queen a5. Now rook d8, because the queen protects c5. E, e5, not e8, queen f2, knight takes, takes. Although, wise compensation, of course, is, is two connected pawns. Yeah, and you're attacking the knight on c5, strong bishop on g2, pinning that rook on a8. 97, bishop d5. Rook a6, maybe not the best. Uh, Le Kong Lem had to regroup. Uh, rook f8 was better here. Although, why to go for f4, f5 here? Yeah. 
the knight, maybe knight f6, yes. That should be fine. Rook a6, mm -hmm. now f5, g5, c5, bishop g2, two strong pawns. Yeah. That was the compensation of the sacrifice. Rook to d5, rook e2, kb3, king h2, king safety, nice move. Rook d2, you went back. Of course, if you sacrifice that exchange, there's rook c2. Look at the three major pieces on one line that Alekhine's done here. Yeah? But this is not so common. You're, you're talking about the rank, not the file. Okay, rook a6, rook c2, queen f6 back, rook c4, knight f8. Black is a piece up, but look at this bishop on c8 and bishop on g7. Knight on f8 also is restricted thanks to the pawn. King g1, bishop f3, space for the king to go g2, protects e2, c1, and king g2. All right, double up. Bishop d4, nice move. Takes. Takes on g7. Once the bishop is dead, the dark square weakness is, is looming here. Okay, rook c4, threatening queen d4 now. Dj rook b4, b7 is a threat. Nice bishop f3, protects e2. Okay, rook takes b7, queen e1, no problem, no check. Queen on d2, queen can go f2, bishop takes care of e2. Should be a d7 takes queen takes d7 queen a1 queen e8 that pawn can resign okay one final take on a2 just king g3 can I stop the mate on f8 if you go back let's say you go back to g7 just bishop e2 yeah where's the rook going okay, rook a7 maybe and then f6 bye bye because the rook moves away from that line. Resign. So that was a strong game from Eri Geisy. And now he's in the finals, going to play Magnus Carlsen. Well, this guy, and what I like also about Eri Geisy is his humility. He's just a very quiet guy. He has the same expression when he wins or he loses. Same thing. So simple. But um, he, he rocks, yeah? Simple, but he rocks on the chessboard. And this Indian generation, Pragmananda, here we go, I see. Gukesh, Nihal Sari. Oh, they're very fast. These rising stars, all of them almost 2-7. Oh, my God. And um, how, can, how can we stop them right? in the future? Um, maybe two to three years from now, they could be there, top 15, top 20. Uh, they're actually there now, Gukesh and, Gukesh and uh, Eric Geisy. They're in top 20, I think, from number 17 and 18. Yeah. Or 18 and 19, I'm not too sure about it, but they're in the top 20. Wow, and they're pushing each other out. That's well, that's one good thing about this rivalry. That it's it's a friendly rivalry for, for these players. And they're pushing each other out. That's nice. Yeah? You push each other out and you, you go, you want to do better. So you, you if you want to go higher, you want to beat this guy. So it makes you a better player as well. That's one good thing about this generation. We, we do hope that we could get kids or the youth from the Philippines to be like this. Yeah, We have this motivation to aim for excellence. But then again, thanks to the support from Just Basically India, from Vishian and, and all the other private sponsors in India. You cannot be successful without the support from your parents down to the government or any other private sector. You need the support yeah, and for you to, to do your best as well. 
So that's about it. It's going to be Eric Geisy against Magnus Carlsen in the Julius Bear Generation Cup Finals. I will see you there to do the recap in the finals. This is Coach Oliver. Stay safe, everyone. Have